over the last few years I've been uh, focusing my attention on uh, biotechnology and uh, on the new field of biomimicry, which basically is this new field of uh, science and engineering where you get inspired and you work on mimicking natural technologies. We as humans should really, uh, we can gather a lot of value from harnessing these natural technologies. And firstly, uh, I think photosynthesis is one of the most important ones, no? Two years ago I founded a company called Arborea, where we basically invented a new bionic uh, leaf. Uh, that basically is a complex uh, system of electronic mechanics and uh, biotechnology to cultivate and harness photosynthesis out of uh, microorganisms, so living microorganisms. We basically uh, make uh, bionic leaves uh, to clean up the atmosphere from carbon dioxide and air pollutants uh, and convert this, thanks to sunlight, uh, into uh, high-value um, chemical materials, chemical compounds uh, and breathable oxygen. These bionic leaves uh, are very adaptable and we can apply them uh, on land or even on rooftop of uh, large industrial buildings or commercial buildings or also on, on facades of buildings. For my residency at AVNA, I proposed on how I could uh, uh, bring these uh, uh, novel biotechnologies uh, from a more industrial or architectural uh, uh, realm uh, into the domestic uh, environment. Uh, and uh, so going around the VNA and exploring the, the VNA collection, I got intrigued by, uh, for, for making the world's first uh, uh, bionic chandelier. I've been inspired for the design of it, mostly from the Islamic art, where you can find a great example of mixing geometry together with natural patterns like flowers or um, vegetation. Exhale, uh, this bionic chandelier, it's composed uh, by 70 leaves uh, modules. Uh, we have to maintain a fairly complex uh, hydraulic and mechanical uh, system uh, to basically make the microorganism happy, uh, to let them photosynthesize at the best way for as long as we can. So a lighting piece uh, that can uh, purify the air indoor uh, by absorbing carbon dioxide and exhaling oxygen into the room. We basically can see that every little detail is uh, there because there is a reason. So if it's that little uh, brass piece is because it needs to hold the structure, but as well the structure holds the leaves but brings as well the water and the media around. It's a very interesting piece for me because it explores a new concept of, of living objects, uh, basically. And I'm curious to know what people would think about it. Would you think it's a, it's a living object or just an object uh, uh, with microorganism on it? Uh, and uh, would they feel affection for the object, uh, taking care of it, uh, or maybe just leaving it there?